Visticon and UNF have had a, a great relationship for quite some time now. And earlier this year, Visticon approached the biology department and said they'd like to make a charitable contribution to help support the program. Um, how can we help out? And this is something we've had our eye on for quite some time. And they agreed to work with us in acquiring this nice microscope. This microscope is kind of rare compared to the conventional microscopes that we use on a day-to-day -day basis in our biology department. There are, in fact, only three of these types of microscopes in Northeast Florida, to my knowledge. And now we're lucky enough to have one of these. Um, it's a very unique opportunity students to learn how to work a confocal microscope. It can offer unparalleled training where students can learn how to use this and seek employment. There's not many institutions where uh, they have access to such a, a good microscope and it's really going give to give students here a leg up in knowing new protocols and having new techniques. What it does, kind of like an MRI, is it offers kind of cross sections, optical stacks. It will take a slice here, a slice here, a slice here, a slice here. Everything's in focus. It reconstructs all the slices back into one whole image and then the user is capable of visualizing this in a three-dimensional basis. In my particular research, we are looking at corals, and we're very interested in looking at corals that are undergoing stress. And it's very hard just by looking at a coral to see if it's stressing or not. But by using a microscope, you can really zoom in and focus on very specific things, certain proteins that only come about when an organism is stressed, certain enzymes you can only detect when an organism is stressed. I first started working on, on corals and, and their reproduction um, when I got a, a TLO, a, a transformational learning opportunity with, with Dr. Cliff Ross here at UNF. And I got to go to the Keys and work on um, obviously corals and their reproduction, but it really, it really led me through different steps in, in my early career. So I got to go to Belize and work with some, uh, some major scientists that are working on corals in Belize, and that led to a Smithsonian Fellowship, uh, the Link Fellowship and in Fort Pierce, and it's really just um, pushed my early science career. We've raised these corals from larvae from the Florida Keys. Um, we're growing them to, to adulthood to try and be able to collect larvae on our own from here without having to go down to, to the Florida Keys. And we're really farming, farming these corals so that we can do future experiments with them. Corals grow very slow, but it's very easy to kill them off. So we're very interested in looking at the little babies. Once the little babies come about, you know, how can we make sure that the babies survive in order for the adults to, uh, to be able to thrive? So what we do is we go down to the Keys every year and we work with this one coral called Parides asteroides. And the great thing about that system is we know when they're going to release their little babies. It's always on the new moon of May every year. So we go down, we work, we collect the little baby corals, and actually we experiment with them. And we want to figure out what you take. We'll expose them to different temperatures. We'll expose them to different types of algae that they may encounter on the reef. And we see if they can take it, if they can survive, and if for stress. And by using this confocal microscope, it's one way of showing that they are stressing. It's, it's really cool to see all the new techniques and things that uh, New Age has brought to, to science and all the, all the little pockets that you can fit yourself into in science. A lot of us are performing research on a day-to-day -day basis here at UNF, and in the past we've been limited by our resources. But by having this now, it really puts us in a nice competitive edge to get some really good cutting-edge research accomplished.